what is 996 and why do we care about it? Like, what's the relevance of 996 in today's world and what does it really have to do with anything? 996 is pretty much a work system in China working from traditionally 9 a.m. to 9 p.m six days a week which is 72 hours it's kind of like in america where they have 40 hour work week where people work nine to five five days a week in china they have 996 so let's compare 996 and kind of the traditional 40 hour work week of america in america people traditionally will work nine to five five days a week 40 hours a week and after that it's pretty much overtime right it's pretty much just that depending on the industry you might be flexible or you might have more hours you might have less hours Hours. people wake up they get to work by nine and then they have lunch at 12 and then they come home at five it's usually around that in china the kind of 996 is pretty much people having starting work at 9 a.m they might have lunch at 11 or 12 and then they'll also have like the thing different is like a nap hour so it's a lot of companies will have like an hour where you can just nap in the office wherever you're at then traditionally maybe you work till like 9 p.m and then you'll go home and that's pretty much you do that for monday to saturday for six days a week and in a week that that's up to 72 hours I will say it's similar to kind of America in the 40 hour work week where it really depends on the industry. It depends on the employer. It depends on the boss. It depends on pretty much all of those things. Like, and as time go on, like now we're in 2024, a lot of people are not really doing the 996 traditionally anymore as like they used to kind of follow. Although the, the work hours are pretty high, like some will do over 40, 50, 60. That's common in China. Because of that, in the newer generation, I would probably say people born after the 2000s. A lot of people are not really working 996 anymore, although some are, a lot aren't. Maybe it depends if you're working in an office, you might not work 996, but some offices, they traditionally, depending maybe if you're in the IT, if you're in finance, if you're in something like that, then yeah, they might, they might have over eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours. And that's not uncommon, definitely, because there's a lot of companies that do that. Or maybe if you work at maybe like a retail job or something, you, you might work maybe like part-time, you might work less hours. It really depends. But if you met somebody in China and they told you, that that they work 40 50 60 72 hours or 996 type thing or ideal it wouldn't be uncommon but if you met somebody maybe in america and they told you they work six days a week that 996 type 72 hours then it would be kind of uncommon in america because in america it's just two different work environments i would say in america the work culture is like you you go to school you go to college or a lot of people don't as well but it's okay and then you just kind of work your hours you put in the hours and then you're on a salary you're at some type of company and they'll they'll pay you from like nine to five or whatever hours that you're in in america in china it's similar studying is very competitive there's so many people there every single city every single province that you go to it's just so many people right and all those people are are fighting for those same same spots with the work culture in china so pretty much the people they it's similar to the u.s in a way like you kind of grow up you go to school you go middle school high school college and then after college you get your degree and then you maybe you work in the profession that you're in or a lot of people don't even go to college and they maybe they'll work like some type of factory job and it's not uncommon in those factory jobs in like maybe rural areas or or in tier two tier three cities where they have those 996 but as you go Go into the higher like tier one cities for example the 996 becomes more and more uncommon especially in today's world a lot of people born past 2000 they don't want to work 12 hours a day six days a week they they want to do their own thing they want to and so that culture is definitely i would say on a decline although it's not uncommon to meet people that still do it it's just on a decline a lot of people just they want to just have some work-life balance they want to just put in their hours and go home they don't want to do nine to six where your entire day your entire life is work but a lot of situations a lot of people are there, it's definitely you they, they have to work to survive and it's like that in the u.s as well i'll say that's a commonality both countries China and US the people they work their hours they work they collect their paycheck and they survive in in China I would say one difference that I would say is definitely like the people's like loyalty is very more on a higher extreme level I guess you could say like loyalty to the, the company and you could see that there was an article about a guy a few years ago um he was working on nine times six type schedule at like an IT company and he pretty much just worked so hard he collapsed and he pretty much just you know he 
he's not around anymore and it's it's definitely he worked himself to an extreme and it's definitely not uncommon there's a lot i'm sure there's a lot more stories like that that never made the media in the u.s i would say because of the 40 hour general consensus type work week i think it's okay there's pros and cons a lot of people in the u.s want work-life balance and they try to achieve that right you work your 40 hours and then you just go home and then you in china it's like that as well people work their hours and they want to go home some people might work 40 hours some people might work 50 60 70 hours i would definitely say 70 hours it's more uncommon now but as you go to 60 hours 50 hours 40 to 50 40 to 60 i would say it's common to meet people in china that will be working those hours in whatever sector they're in any industry you know anybody that you meet on the street however there is controversy with the 996 work schedule as well in 2021 we saw that people supreme court deem it a legal practice but in in china i would say overall it's hard to really enforce that although they deem it illegal it's very hard to really enforce and i would say a lot of places they they might not do the traditional 996 but they'll have people work a lot of hours over 40 over 50 over 60 i would definitely say and even if you're in america you could definitely find people working over 40 50 60 hours as well like i've known some people that they maybe work their their job for like 40 hours but then they'll have to like do additional stuff maybe after work and it kind of adds up it's kind of like that in china as well i guess you could say but in china it, once you work after an extent it's just overtime and then people do their thing overall we see it in a decline which i think it's a good thing because a lot of people should have i think work-life balance is important you work your hours you go home you can't take the compensation that you earn with you at the end of the day so i guess you just put in your hours you go home what do you guys think about 996 work culture leave a like subscribe and turn post notifications on if you haven't yet and comment below your thoughts